What are we going to preview? We got a we got a guy coming yep. back, a star coming back. That's right, big star in the welterweight division. This one for the t- for the guys over at my bookie. If you're going to bet on any of the fights, always go to mybookie.ag and use the promo code Atlas to say to get a fifty percent credit on your first deposit. Deposit two thousand, they'll give you an extra thousand to play with. Mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Atlas. We got Jerron. Ennis in action against David Arnesian. Um, always exciting when these top uh, premier welterweights are in action. And uh, Jerron Ennis is definitely on the cusp of breaking through to that superstardom level if he can keep doing what he's been doing. What are you looking for in this one? And does uh, Artesian provo- to provide any resistance whatsoever? All right. Here it is. Uh, first of all, I'm looking to see if there's ring rust. This is... Uh and it's his first fight in a year, almost exactly a year to be exact. Uh, he's 31-0, 28 knockouts. I think he's a tremendous fighter. I think that sometimes I'll say that they haven't been tested. I know he's talent. His technique is great. What's inside him mentally, is he great in that or could he be great in that area? I think he can. I think he's got the goods there. Yeah, you gotta. You don't know till you really know when he's in there with a fight that's gonna test him. <laughs> and that kind, there's not enough. There's not that many talented guys talented enough to test him in that way. But only the top top guys. Only the top top guys. Uh, he's that good. He's that damn good. And I believe he will come up aces <laughs> when and if <laughs> he has to show you and show us what he's got under the hood, what he's got inside. I think it will be what we want it to be and what, what it needs to be to, to take that great talent to another level to potentially be a great fighter. Um, he's big for a welterweight. He's huge. He can punch. He can box. He can fight inside, outside. He's responsible defensively, puts his punches together, doesn't waste much, very accurately, goes to the body, the head, Everything. He's fighting He's fighting David Avancion, who's 35 years old. His record is 34-1, 18 knockouts. He's been knocked out twice. He's been knocked out. Two of those four losses have been by knockout. He was knocked out by Terrence Crawford, the great Terrence Crawford, uh... And he's he was knocked sixth out by round. him. Yeah, in the sixth was I think sixth or seventh, yeah. sixth round. S- um, sixth round, and I apologize for butchering the pronunciation of his last name. Yeah, and it's all right uh, with me. It's fine because I, <laughs> I I do enough of that for the two of us. I have you covered in that. I got you covered, Ken, in that department. Don't worry. <laughs> That's one you. place you're always going to come in second. It's butchering names. <laughs> I appreciate well, as long as you, as long as you're with me. Um, so he, 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 he got knocked out by Terence Crawford. Uh, he's had one fight since then, a win, but it was a win against the guy just to get a win. Quite frankly. The, the record of the opponent that he got the win with was 11, 55, and 3. Okay? So I think I'm safe to say they picked that guy to get him back on the winning track before they fed him to the Lions. Give yeah, him a little bit. It was only bit. a six-round fight. Yeah. Very strange. Give, give, him, give him a, you know, give him his last meal. Give him his last meal before he goes to the chair, basically. Um, <laughs> look, he's... Uh, it's not fair what I'm saying completely, really, because Avenician, 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 David, David, okay, David Avenician, proud is Armenian, a, is a game guy. He covers up really well. He does. He looks to walk forward. He wings shots a little bit. He's a little. He could be a little heavy, fat with the punches. Not a great puncher, but a game guy that won't run, won't hide. That's the problem in this fight. He probably should run and hide, but he won't <laughs> run. He won't hide. He'll be right in front. 
he'll be trying, he'll be covered up with the peekaboo, with the, you know, with the hands up in that kind of position, and he will leave himself wide open to body shots and uppercuts. The uppercut was a punch that the great Terrence Crawford found after a couple rounds. He found the uppercut and he finished him with the uppercut. It was a beautiful uppercut and, and hook right behind it, right hook because Crawford was in a southpaw position. It was a beautiful uppercut and right hook to finish him. I think if I'm making my prediction for my bookie, I think that, first of all, I think the mindset of Ennis, who wants to get as much attention as he can, he's great, but not enough people know about him. And he wants to get it out there more and more and more and more. And I think one of the things on his mind is going to be, I know we always say just win, just win. But I think in this case, knowing that he's so much better than a very game David Ovencian, I think that he will have it in his mind to outdo Crawford. Crawford stopped him uh, in the, you said the sixth, right? Sixth, Crawford, yep, sixth. So he stopped him in the sixth. I really believe that Ennis will go in there, him and his trainers will go in there trying to stop him before that. And I think he will. I think that he will have a good chance to stop a very game opponent with the same punch. With the uppercut, because when you got that pickup one, you come straight in, and he does move his head. But when you come straight in with that pickup, you can split the guard with the uppercut, and you can also bang the body around the arms. You can bang around those arms, the body, and you can do a Mike Tyson on him. Bang around the arms with one punch, and then bring it up with an uppercut. Split the guard with the uppercut. I believe it'll be something along those lines before six rounds, maybe four rounds, three, four rounds, I believe, and it'd take Jason Boots Ennis to get his opponent out of there. I, I That would be my prediction. Do we have anything from my bookie as far as, uh, you know, wanting to go for the under over and all that? I know he's probably a $100,000 favorite, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's probably pretty accurate. Give me one second. I'm just updating to see if they've changed it at all. They didn't have an over-under, but they may have it up now as we get closer to the fight. In other news, uh, I don't know if you got a chance to see it, but um, Nate Diaz beat um, George Masvidal in their boxing match. Uh, pretty close fight. It was actually quite entertaining. A lot of punches thrown. Uh, all right, over-under in the... Uh, he got his tennis. revenge, right? Nate Diaz got, got his, his revenge. revenge. Yeah. Yeah, because he lost in the fight. UFC to him, yeah. The, their fight was actually very entertaining. A lot of punches thrown. Uh, Diaz much busier. Masvidal landing some heavy power shots when he did open up. But Diaz with that, like, pitter-pat style, like, just touching him, touching him. Then hit him with a big one. Really, really good. The pressure was incredible. The fitness on both of them. They clearly both trained. They went 10 good rounds. Uh, Jerron Ennis and David Avanesian, the uh, <laughs> the money line, to your point, 20, minus 2,300 on uh, 2,400 on Ennis, plus 800 on uh, Avanesian. And the over-under, six and a half rounds, plus 100 for the over, minus 137 on the under. Six and a half rounds, I can't imagine that they don't uh, that doesn't get him out of there quick, especially with the pressure from Crawford. He wants that Crawford fight. If Crawford got him out in six, I gotta believe Ennis wants him out of there quicker. So the pressure will be uh, the under there looks pretty attractive. But what do you think? No, I like the under. Now there's gonna be people. The reason why you're not laying that much on the under is attractive. It looks to me is because there's people gonna say, wait a minute. It took Crawford six rounds to get it. He ain't doing it less. Crawford's better than him. You know, there's going to be people who are going to say that. Uh, I'm going to go the other way. Not because Ennis is better than Crawford. Nobody's better than Crawford. And so they prove to me they're better than Crawford. Nobody. But I'm, he's, he's younger than Crawford. He's bigger and more of a natural welterweight than Crawford. Uh, he's all those things. And he's very good. He's very talented. So I'm going to say that I like this proposition, Ken. I'm going to say I'm going to take the under. I'm going to take the under 
in that in that fight. Obviously, I'm. Uh, there's no sense in trying to bet the fight to win. Hold on. How about this one? Jerron Ennis by knockout minus five fifty. If you want to lay five fifty, yeah, I think he is, I think he's going to stop him. So yeah, if you want to lay five fifty, I mean, depends how much you want to risk. But if you got enough, if if you got enough in your, you know, in your stash where you can go and put it together and and say, okay, I'm going to get a little something here. I'm going to lay five fifty. Yeah, I would I'd say yes, and I would say yes to the under for 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 Ennis on both. Well, there you have it. That'll be a good one this weekend. We'll have uh, we'll have that to look forward to next week to discussing and breaking down all the action. 